Hello everybody, this is Nick Fedorov and we are on a road trip. We decided to stop off just south of San Francisco and I ran into the Bonide guys. How are you guys doing today? We are fabulous, just excellent. Glad to that's, that's the golden voice of Tom Feldman and we got John Ford. And I'm doing well as well. Oh, great, great. I like the way this picture is looking because we've got the, the clean executive look. Then a little bit, you know, you got the Laurel and Hardy thing there, and then we got Sasquatch. Yeah. This is working. This is working good for me. Bonide, you guys, uh, I'm, I'm, come over here. It's kind of hard not to see the display that you have going on, and all the really fun things that you do. I know that you're the guru when it comes to to, to making it so that the consumer can see the product. What are one of the concerns that you have that makes it so easy for us to identify with Bonide and knowing if I have a weed problem or if I have an insect problem, how do I identify, how do I identify with that so easily? Well, funny, that's how I, that's how I stumbled into the job. Um, Bonide was looking for a person to help them out from a marketing standpoint. And I went to a store and looked, this is 17 years ago, at this shelf of controls and it all confused the daylights out of me. So I went to a very simple process, granimals when you were a kid, you know, your, the granimals patches were co coated so you'd put your pants and shirt together. That's what we did with the product line. All of the green labels are herbicides. All of the red labels are insecticides. If it's an orange label, it controls plant disease. If it's yellow, it's an animal repellent. White label does insect and disease. Black labels for use in the home as a home pest control. So the first thing we did was try to make it easier to shop by color coding it. That's actually one of the things you shared with me. And in fact, I think that was the first thing you shared with me when you came into my office uh, uh, and I said, look at, can you figure this out? And it's like, you really kind of had to be a knucklehead not to figure it out. Well, the whole thing was is to simplify the choice of a pesticide. I mean, it's a difficult uh, thing to do on a retail level and we're hoping to make it easier for the consumer to choose the right product. Now, one of the things that I've noticed that you guys have is not only do you have uh, the traditional chemicals, shall we say, that uh, you could use to control different insects and diseases and pests and everything, but you actually go to the other limit to where you bring on these natural uh, uh, ways of controlling the insects it, that makes, uh, you know, the, the person who may not uh, understand the chemical side of it, they could work their way up through a transition. You know, we're an 85-year-old company, a third-generation family-owned business. We like to say we serve gardeners, rose gardeners, vegetable gardeners, hobby gardeners, master gardeners, organic gardeners. Whatever form of gardening a, a person does, we want to have a product for them. So we have a full line of synthetics. We have the broadest offering of natural and organic products as well. This consumer has a choice of what they'd like to buy and use. Now, John, I also heard that when you bring a product to market, uh, I mean, not to market, it's very possible that you can bring a, a product up to market and it actually never gets it because it could get turned down. You guys already spent billions of dollars just about to get that thing going. Well, I think the overall goal is, is to kill the bug. When a consumer buys a pesticide, they want to kill the bug. If it's natural, that's even better for many folks today. So. Um, I don't think that there's a block necessarily on EPA, but there are regulatory means that we have to go through to register a product, and sometimes you don't get that registration. Well, that and, and so that's a good thing in the law. It could be a good thing, but for your pocketbook, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. But we, at least we're rest assured that you've got a product that's coming out that is beneficial and can be used with all certainty to know that you're going to take care of those insects and diseases. And it can be used safely. Yeah. The, 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 the testing is for all forms of toxicity as well as environmental hazards. A very strict, <clears throat> excuse me, guidelines with the environmental protection agencies. You got to meet all the requirements to get a product on the shelf. Well, speaking of products on the shelf, let's take a quick little uh, gander of what we got on the shelves over here right now because we have a menagerie of things here that is pretty exciting. Uh, John, why don't you take us through uh, uh, some of the some of the fun things that we can find on the nursery shelves? Well, the selective, uh, uh, non-selective herbicides and Roundup, uh, we call our brand name Cleanup. It's a 41% concentration. We have selective herbicides with crabgrass control. We've got a great selective herbicide with Weed Beater Ultra. Here in California, it's a non-2,4-D mix and works in cold temperatures perfect on a day like today with the rain and all. Um, we have uh, brush killers, 
stump and vine stump control products and an organic or natural moss control product here. All right, and then as we move along, we're getting into uh, some things. Now, one of the things I noticed over here is that you actually have the, the insects on the label itself. So if I've got a problem with a, a grub or something like that, I can identify that real quick. As best we can. Uh, some products that's uh, right, clear, front and center. Other ones, they are so broad spectrum and control so many insects, it's not always uh, able to, to, uh, to get them on there. The, we, we should show the folks the Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew, though, because Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew is a pretty unique pesticide. Grab a bottle, John. I'll show it to everybody. <clears throat> what do we have here, John? Uh, Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew was actually uh, discovered in an abandoned rum distillery in the Caribbean. It's a fermented soil bacterium. Um, I kind of like to tell the folks that we're getting them drunk before we kill them, but it's a very effective pesticide. And uh, again, with our color coordination, I want to point out the fact that not only is it a red label, but if it contains tan in the label, that calls out our Garden Natural products. So everybody can see what that... Oh, how is that? Hey, you're a juggler too. Look at that. Very good. good. So, so, you know, th this is just a, it had a very unique history because it was found on a Caribbean island. It's now a, a global agricultural pesticide. It's actually owned by Dow. And Dow markets it worldwide for agriculture. When we wanted to bring it to the consumer market, we heard the story of where it came from, and we decided to call it Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew to kind of make it stand out in the marketplace. And it's, it's a fun new pesticide. Can yeah, you? yeah, definitely. I like the guy. I like the guy whose pictures on there. Is that a real, is that a real person, or is that somebody that you just uh, swipe from someplace? That is Jim Wurz, who owns the company. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, claim to fame comes in all different forms. I'll tell you. I'll tell you that much. He was a good sport about it. <laughs> well, that's all right. Uh, let's continue on over here. I see things of hot pepper wax. That's also a fun thing to use in your uh, for controlling things. Right. It's a it's a repellent. Uh, it it doesn't kill the insect on contact. It just keeps the insect away. Um, and can be used on edible plants up to the day of harvest. Now that's a real important thing because I know in my own garden there's absolutely no, now don't take offense here guys, I don't actually put any chemicals in my garden. Any uh, synthetic chemicals. Any synthetic chemicals, but I, I am okay with doing that and the more that I find out that we can do this and we can uh, give it to our, our, our listeners over here, know that they have those opportunities to know that they can actually spray something and that night actually harvest it. Well, unless you've got to wash it off with warm water, because if not, it's a whole mouthful of hot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, unless you've got Italian food you're cooking that night. I well, mean, you know. We like to say it, it saves time making chili because the tomatoes are already spicy. They've already got hot pepper on them. So. And you know, that's, that's the other thing I, I really like about what you guys do. Everybody seems to be having a lot of fun with the business that you're in, and I think that's important. Oh, it's very important. You know, if you can't enjoy what you're doing, I don't think you should be doing it. And uh, selling pesticides uh, and doing it properly is a very fun job. Now, just out of curiosity, on the on the Captain Jacks there, that wasn't like uh, something he like from the post office, right? Or the uh, he, uh, he, he kind of posed for that, or uh, it, it, that was on a mugshot. I, I, <laughs> I, I have the actual photograph. He's got a beer in his hand in Dusseldorf, Germany. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Again, having an awful lot of fun with that. And if you're just tuning in, by the way, we are at a trade show. You're not invited to come to the trade show, by the way, but that's why I'm here, to bring you the excitement and the activities that is going on here at the trade show so that when you go to your local nursery and garden center, you can actually go to the nursery person and say, hey, look, at you know, I heard about Bow Knight and Nick Federoff Gardening Show. I need to have this. I want to know about the Captain Jacks. I have to have it for my garden. I have to have the, the hot pepper wax. I have to have it because that's what they were talking about. And then expand your mind a little bit and get the app that they have. Tell me about this app. Well, we're the only people in the industry that produce a problem solver, a book where you can actually view pictures and diseases and insects and so on. And we've taken all of that information and put it into an app for smartphones. And uh, it's available free at uh, bonai.com. You can download it from our website into, I believe, Apple's and Droids now currently. And eventually we'll have Blackberries and all the other smartphones involved. Very exciting, guys. Well, thank you for allowing me to come in and to invade your privacy over here. I, miss, I, I wish you much success. Thanks. Really appreciate it, Nick. Thanks for coming. All right, and thank you very much. And as John, we're going to be see me, seeing more of each other soon here. And I look forward to uh, uh, making sure that our listener uses Bonide for their, actually, you called it bon Bonide. Bonide. Yeah, Bonide. Well, you know, what can I say? Make sure you use Bonide in your yard and garden. This is Nick Federoff on Gardening.